Well, H1N1 or swine flu could be much more serious than just coughing and body aches and a few days off of school or work. New studies show how healthy people in other countries are getting very sick and even dying from the H1N1 virus. However, there is new evidence on what appears to be a particularly effective way to fight it. Tracy Potts has more on that. Just tilt your head just a little bit and not blow out. Nurses at Children's Hospital in Denver get the swine flu vaccine. We are starting with our staff in the emergency room and our staff in the intensive care units and up on the floors where our patients are actually housed with H1N1. Government health officials are pushing the vaccine for health care workers and other vulnerable groups as new studies show just how dangerous swine flu can be, especially in children. The Journal of the American Medical Association reports in Canada, young adults became critically ill very quickly, multiple organs failed, and patients needed prolonged ventilation. In Mexico, where the outbreak started last spring, a third study reports a 40% fatality rate among young patients. That's why the U.S. is pushing this new vaccine. We know that this vaccine works. We know its safety profile. But experts say no one, not even healthcare workers, should be forced to take it. Some doctors remain skeptical. You can't uh, uh, persuade physicians to get this vaccine voluntarily. What kind of message does that send to the public? A public now in the middle of what's already an unusually active flu season. That was Tracy Potts reporting.